Well, now the mum fighting for the right to live. Gabe Watkin has motor neuron disease and is trapped in a body that won't cooperate. She's desperate for surgery to prolong her life, but incredibly, health authorities refuse to help. Let her have the surgery. She has a right to choose to live. The most important thing for me is my family. Essentially, they handed me a death sentence. Surrounded by her big family is exactly how Gabe Watkin loves to live her life. My life is pretty good. You might not think so if you just judge it on my disability, but you would be wrong. The 52-year-old mother of two has motor neuron disease. Her mind is clear that she's locked in a body that's all but failed her. Despite that, there's so much joy to be had in this family home. The quality of life that she's got, you know, is probably better than a lot of people out there that don't have MND. Rebecca Sullivan is one of Gabe's five sisters. The tight-knit family all moved to be closer to Gabe near Rockhampton in central Queensland after she was diagnosed in 2017. It was a shock and disbelief from all of us that, you know, this is something that happens to other people, not us. Motor neuron disease is when the nerve cells that control the body's muscles rapidly die. The average life expectancy after diagnosis is just two and a half years. For Gabe's husband of 36 years, Colin, plans to travel Australia in retirement quickly disappeared after the love of his life became ill. It was a bit of a shock and yeah, a bit hard to deal with to start with. Oh, it still is now, but it's yeah, yeah, a bit of a shock, change, huge change in lifestyle and everything, yes. Since 2017, Gabe has lost all her motor skills. She can no longer swallow or speak aloud and soon she'll lose the ability to breathe on her own. She now communicates through eye gaze technology on this computer. My life is still good. I would say bloody good. Having a disability doesn't mean I don't have a good life. As her condition progressed, the former disability worker did her own research into anything that could help prolong her life. That's when Gabe came across tracheotomy surgery, a procedure in which a tube is inserted into the windpipe, allowing her to breathe when her muscles no longer enable it through an artificial ventilator. English theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking had a tracheotomy and lived for years with MND, but Gabe's doctors weren't as enthusiastic. Gabe sort of met every, every sort of level of request that they've got, but we've just, yeah, we've just met with brick walls. The surgery has been done on MND patients before in New South Wales and Victoria, but never in Queensland. Queensland Health insisted Gabe's surgery request be sent to an ethics committee, which incredibly <laughs> took 12 months to rule it wasn't worth it. It was a gruelling wait. It felt like I was being put in the too hard basket. Do you think it's ethical for the ethics committee to leave you waiting for more than 12 months? I think that that was one of the most frustrating things that Gabe couldn't actually get anybody to talk to her about the reasons why, why it was delayed even. This is the letter Gabe received back from Queensland's Metro North Hospital and Health Service confirming its decision to block the surgery. It said the procedure wouldn't be in good medical practice and that other patients here at Gabe's local hospital would be negatively impacted if she used up an intensive care bed. I guess Gabe and us as a family felt at that time that, you know, why is Gabe any different than anybody else needing intensive care? Because I have MND, it seems I am burdened according to Queensland Health. It turns out that if I had fallen the stairs and ended up paralysed, I would be given the surgery immediately. Gabe and her family lodged a complaint about Queensland Health with the Queensland Human Rights Commission on the grounds of discrimination. And while it believed there was a case to answer, Queensland Health refused to cooperate, 
Ironically, this heartless decision comes from the same government which is currently looking to introduce right to die laws. How upsetting is it knowing that you're fighting to live but the Queensland Health Service won't fight for you? They seem to be absolutely unwilling to open their eyes to a person's right to choose to live. There's very um, well-respected physicians that have provided this surgery to people in, in Australia before. Gabe deserves a bed to recovering just as much as any other person needing medical care. Dr Kirsten Harley is one of those people. The 52-year-old Sydney mother was diagnosed with MND in 2013. She chose to get a tracheotomy done after she woke one day struggling to breathe. 12-year-old Kimmy framed my choice. Mum, do you want to be stabbed in your throat and lose your voice? Or do you want to be dead? We knew it would be tough for the family. But the alternative was even tougher. Spoiler alert, I chose to live. It's amazing. It's amazing to have Mum still here. These were Kirsten's final words before she was taken for surgery. Yes, I feel so. Nearly three years on, she has zero regrets. Without the trachea, I would be dead. I've been able to watch my daughter grow, meet my baby niece, do research, spend time with friends, enjoy the seasons, read, and so much more. She believes if Gabe wants the surgery, there are no questions. She should be allowed it. Queensland Health also said it would be too hard to train up Gabe's NDIS-funded carers who already care for her around the clock. The tracheotomy is the only option to stay alive. They are taking away their right to extend my life. For Gabe's sons, Cameron and Daniel, it's been a tough road watching their mum deteriorate. It's definitely hard watching what she has to go through, how difficult everything is, but it's obviously good enough for her to still want to hang around. Do you feel like they're denying her the right to live? Definitely, yeah, they are. The family knows just how precious time is. If Gabe has the surgery, it could extend her life by up to 10 years. But if not... We're at the spot now where if Gabe doesn't have access to this, then her time's really limited. In a statement to a current affair, Queensland Health said... The Health Service acknowledges the lengthy consideration given to Ms Watkins' request and respects the considered decision of the Ethics Committee. Currently, there is very little evidence in Australia to suggest the clinical benefits will outweigh the clinical risks of the procedure Ms Watkin is requesting. Gabe admits the surgery wouldn't be for everyone with MND, but she wants to stay alive as long as she can. She's very strong, she's got a lot of fight in her, and she, you know, she's not going to give up yet. It will mean I guess to keep on living my life and hopefully be here to become a grandma. That's a big hint to my <laughs> sons. All Gabe wants is to keep living. She and her family have weighed up the pros and cons of having this surgery and have decided it's the path they want to take. How can Queensland Health deny them this option? Late this afternoon, we were told representatives are finally prepared to meet with Gabe and her family, if requested, to discuss ongoing care plans.